What's up guys, Steve Chen here, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll do a quick test on the MotorGuide XI3 GPS SpotLog trolling motor. We'll be using my Fishwinder, the map function and the GPS to see how much it actually moves in maybe 10 minutes. So the first thing we're gonna do is to clear active track. So it doesn't have the previous track. Now let's give it 10 minutes and see how much it actually moves. All right, it's 10 minutes now. Looks like it's within the circle with a diameter of 20 feet or even 15 feet and this is at calm water condition and uh, let's give it some test in some currents all right guys as you can see there's some current going out the tunnel let's test the spot lock here active track clear Alright guys, it's 10 minutes now, let's check it out. As you can see, it's only like 5 feet to the most. As you can see, very impressive. Current is still the same, I would say. Alright, let's check out how fast it moves with the current without spot lock. Wow, like one mile per hour. It's pretty windy now. Let's check it out. Active track cleared. as you can see it's less than 10 feet impressive and still rough and windy i think the reason might be the trolling motor has to go at a constant speed or pretty fast compared to the calm condition so it actually helps staying at the same spot i think overall i'm pretty satisfied with the spot lock function of the motor guide xi3 now let's check out the jog function. Okay, I'm at spot lock mode. Let's try the jog function. Going to the front one time, two times, three times. Actually, you can see from the track, we did move 20 feet, right? Pretty accurate. As you can see in this table, the motor guide GPS trolling motor can hold you within 15 feet when it's calm or less than five miles per hour wind. With one mile per hour current, it can hold you within five feet. When it's windy like 12 miles per hour, it's 10 feet, which is pretty impressive. We should consider that the spot lock trolling motor is designed to hold itself within a certain range based on the GPS coordinates in its head unit. 
In this test, we used the GPS unit on fish finder to check the range. If we consider the distance between the trolling motor and my fish finder GPS, which is like 5 feet, by subtracting that, it's even less, meaning like all less than 10 feet, no matter under what condition. On the other hand, the jog function is pretty accurate as well. I jogged forward for four times and it's exactly 20 feet traveled. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and find it helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.